Hi everyone, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you like my content. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I take you along with me again to walk through a protein sparing day of meals that I ate. Today was a bit frantic though. Um, it was very quick. I, I know I did everything really quick. During lunch, I think, or breakfast, I said I was going to bring out my calendar for November because tomorrow, by, when you're watching this video, tomorrow will be November. But it just turned out to be too frantic of a day. It's year end where I work and everything in the world has to be done before this Friday. So that's what I was doing today. Everything in the world. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do the calendar now. So I'm going to uh, show you what I'm going to do in uh, November. So I'm going to bring it over to the camera here. Okay, so November, traditionally, the last couple years for me, I, November has been a carnivore month. And so I am going to do carnivore only in November. And, but I am going to, because I, I am kind of liking the couple of days of lean protein, I, I think that I'm responding well to it. October didn't turn out so well for me. It was a bit of a write-off. I have not weighed myself. I don't know if I've lost any weight. I don't know if I've gained weight, but I'll, I will weigh myself. It's just that I'm filming this a uh, couple of days before the actual end of the month, and I need to the end of the month. So um, I didn't do as many protein sparing days in October as what I had initially planned um, because, you know, sometimes obviously things change in your life. Here's my plan for November. It is going to be carnivore, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, I am going to do lean protein days. So it'll just mean that on those days, instead of, you know, pork belly or ribeye steaks, I might have shrimp or my very favorite, which is the turkey, turkey burgers uh, or turkey meatloaf. I might have chicken, I might sous vide another turkey breast because that was really good. Um, so things like that, things that are say 10% uh, where the, you know, the meat is 10% fat, um, something like that. On all these other days, I will, I will do carnivore. And uh, so, so yeah, that, that's my plan. That's, uh, I've always done, in fact, last year I did this in November and I just carried on all the way through December. I did carnivore um, because I really liked it. It's simple, it's fast, it's easy. I don't have to, you know, think about it a lot. And uh, I think the only time I didn't do carnivore on, on Christmas day, we had our traditional uh, bacon and tomato sandwiches, which I did as lettuce wrap. So I had some vegetables on Christmas day um, and I made some keto desserts and things like that. So um, who knows what I'm gonna do at the end of November, but this is my November so far. I've got my carnivore cookbook. Uh, this is by Maria and Craig Emmerich. It's, it, I, I use this one a lot. You don't really need a cookbook for carnivore. You can just throw a steak on the grill. You can just cook some chicken, bacon and eggs, whatever. But this gives ideas of different kinds of meats. And one of the things I really like about this book is the first couple of chapters where they go into the science of it. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I make use of this book. I'm gonna reread the first uh, couple of chapters because I every time I read it, I, I kind of learn something new. I really enjoy learning about the science behind it, why why carnivore is is good. And um, and so that's, that's this is kind of my guide. Anyway, so November should be fairly simple. And, uh, and I, I hope you come along with me for the journey. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, so uh, stay with the video here because you're going to see uh, you're going to see, see me at you know 6 a.m. in the morning again and uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner as frantic as they were. 
um, it's all good food. I, 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 enjoyed, I enjoyed my day. I had a good day. So I will see you guys uh, at the end of the video. Morning, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, gonna walk you through my last protein sparing modify fast day of October because uh, by the time you're seeing this, it's October 31st. It's, it's Halloween. So I'm wearing my one and only Halloween shirt. It says, I need to unwind. <laughs> it's kind of the understatement of the year. Um, so, Yeah, so this is going to be real quick. I'm just having my coffee. It's about 6 a.m. and uh, I finally decided to get out of bed. I've been awake for a while, but just, you know, surfing on my phone and, and just hanging out with Teddy here, who's just raring to go. He is just, man, he is ready to play fetch for the next hour. <laughs> So, anyways, I'm going to be back with uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a bit, um, and uh, have all the macros at the end of the day for you, and uh, we'll, we'll see you real quick in the next segment. Uh, i got to let Teddy run off some steam. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Maria Emrich's French Toast Recipe. Um, it's on page 26 if you have the art of fat loss. Um, calls for two egg whites, some vanilla extract, cinnamon, stevia, four slices of bread, and a teaspoon of butter flavor coconut oil. I'm just going to use non, my non-stick pan. So my macros are not going to match what the macros are here. Um, so I will, I'll just show you what I'm doing. I usually use, um, I have so many cookbooks. I really love, uh, uh, you know keto cookbooks. I have a ton of them. I have three or four of Maria's and I just kind of use it as a base and then I do my own thing and recalculate the macros. I think that's perfectly legit to do that. You got to make these things to suit your taste and, and yourself. So I'm putting in, I'm going to double the egg whites and I'm going to uh, use a uh, some of my bread. I've got a uh, thing full of bread here. I'm going to use two Italian and two uh, cranberry loaf. And I'll, I'll give you the link to both those breads down below in the video notes. And I think I'm going to put in a half a cup of egg whites. You know, I may or may not have any left over, but any left over I'll just pour in and let it cook with the last piece of toast. And uh, I'm gonna try out some of my uh, flavor all drops. I've got awesome apple here. I haven't used it yet, so I wanna try that out. A pinch of Redmond salt and a tablespoon of uh, vanilla bean keto syrup. It's got MCT in it, so it has one gram of fat per two tablespoons. I'm just gonna put in a tablespoon. I think that's all I'll need. And, and that's it. So, trying to make it so you don't see my whole kitchen because it's a mess. I haven't cleaned up yet today. <laughs> Anyways, here is my, I use Kirkland egg white cartons. Don't know if you know, but you can freeze these because the, they come in a four pack. So I usually throw them in the freezer downstairs and then um, just take take them out the day before. So I've got half a cup of egg whites and I've got, uh, I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. My apple flavored drops. I'm going to put in six. Don't know if you guys can get these in the States. These are available in, in Canada. I'll, I'll take a look if, if I, I mean, I can put the Canadian link there, or maybe I maybe you'll find the website. They must have a website, um, and I'll, you know, you can always uh, email them and say, where can we get them? Um, what else? Oh yes, I was gonna put in a tablespoon of the syrup. This is vanilla flavored. So instead of vanilla extract, I'm using a a tablespoon of vanilla syrup. I'm trying to use this up. 
should be enough for four pieces of bread. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take this over to the stove. So here's my non-stick pan I'm going to use. I'm just using some Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. Dunk one in. So later, just while this is warming up, I'll tell you later, I'm going to print out a calendar for November and lay out my plan for November. I'm probably going to do some, I'm going to do carnivore. I just don't know, you know, I'm just probably just going to do carnivore and not anything special about it. Okay, so I'm going to throw the first one in. But I will, uh, I'll, I'll bring out my November calendar. Um, I will, by the time you see this, it will be October 31st. Um, yeah, I don't know, you know, I can't see if, that I would have lost any weight this month. I'm going to wait until the end of, I'm going to wait till October 31st and, and weigh myself that morning. Um, I'd be happy to maintain. It's been a stressful month. Um, so I'm gonna throw that one in. Yeah, the, you know, I think I overestimated on the. I probably should have put in a third of a, a third of a cup of egg whites is three egg whites, according to the side of the carton. That might have been enough instead of half a cup. Yeah, I have too much egg white. Maria was right. Maybe two would have been fine. But I can always use more protein. So I am going to eat all of these egg whites. I'm not going to throw this out. Just pour it on top. Mm, smells good. I love the smell of eggs frying. Just give it a minute and then I, I will flip it over. I'm just gonna grab my coffee. I'm still working on my coffee today, my first one. Although it is a 20 ounce. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip. Come on, let go. Okay, she says two minutes per side, so I'm gonna set that for two minutes. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it for two minutes. Yep, these are done. delicious pieces of French toast. Give that a try. Mmm. Good. I was a cranberry one. If you wanted to put some sugar-free syrup on there, you could, or a little sprinkle of powdered, um, sometimes I like to put a little powdered stevia on there. Um, but it's actually, it's actually good just, just the way it is. So um, I'll see you guys back at lunch. I'll have my calendar ready to go and uh, to talk about what I'm going to do in November. We'll see you in the next segment. Hi, I'm back. Um, I'm just making a quick lunch. Uh, it's super, super busy today. I'm, it's it's year-end where I work, and it's like 1.30 or something. It's almost 2 o'clock, and I haven't had anything since you saw me at breakfast. So uh, I'm putting together a quick turkey sandwich. This is probably way too much turkey for two pieces of bread, but I measured out four ounces of the sous vide turkey breast I made the other day, which makes amazing sandwiches. 
putting it on my cranberry bread with some mustard. And uh, that's gonna be my lunch. The uh, macros will all be there. I'm just going to put a little bit of mustard on this. Um, normally with turkey breast, I use mayo, but this turkey breast is nice and moist because I did it in the sous vide. And I am just going to put some on here. I'm probably just gonna eat the rest of this because it's gonna to be too much turkey for the sandwich. And then I, I have to get back to work. So I will see you guys at dinner time. I will provide the macros for my turkey and my turkey sandwich. And uh, we'll see you in the next segment. Hi, I'm back. I am just about to make dinner. Um, if you saw my last protein sparing day video, I made uh, this thing I call lean protein chili soup. And this is some leftovers of that. So I'm putting that in the pot. Um, this, what's in here is basically about a serving and a half. And I'm going to add, I've just cut up some leftover tenderloin, which is also a lean protein source. It's very lean. Um, but I'm gonna be sharing this with somebody. So I'm trying to make enough for two here. Um, and I think I will, yeah, I'll probably add some broth to this just to, just to kind of uh, make it more like a, a soup because it's really, you can probably see it's really uh, thick now. Um, and uh, then we'll have some Italian loaf. There's two pieces of Italian loaf left, so I'll, I'll have to bake some more. So, um... Yeah, so a pretty simple dinner, and uh, that's, that's the way I like to I like to make things and then pull them out of the fridge to you know make other things on busy days, especially a day like today was, was super busy and still is actually. So um, yeah, um, next month is November. Well, tomorrow by the time you see this, tomorrow is November. And I'm going to be doing carnivore all month. And I'm going to, uh, you know, you've already seen my calendar. I'm going to do a couple of um, lean protein days every week. And the rest will be just normal carnivore. So if you have any suggestions of things you'd like to see me make, would you like to see a lean protein day? Would you like to see a regular carnivore day? Um, whatever, whatever things that would be helpful to you. Um, just, just let me know in the comments and uh, I, I will be linking things as usual in the comments, other, other videos that uh, pertain, things I've used that you might be interested in, other recipes I've made. So um, let me know how you like videos like this and what else you'd like to see. And we'll see you in November. Oh, happy Halloween. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Lost my train of thought now. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something.